Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy and today this video is the third part of proving Hahn-Banach theorem. In the previous video we have seen how we can form a subspace V1 that is a bit larger than U and we have formed a functional F1 from V1 to R so that we can extend the functional f node to a bigger one then eventually to a functional f that is less than or equal to p for all values of x that are taken from the space so today we will talk about how we can use this method that we can find subspaces like v1 then we can cover up v because there is a question that how many spaces do we need in order to cover that space V? So there are maybe countable spaces or there are maybe countable elements in V or there are uncountable elements in V because when there is countable elements in V then we can form countable spaces, subspaces in V and when there are uncountable uh, elements in V then we can talk about that in a different way so today so today we will discuss the case in which there are we will assume that there are countable elements in we then what will be our technique to cover up that space we in order to prove Han Banach theorem so now we'll talk about that case So in this case, we will suppose that V, that is a linear space, is generated by countable sets of elements that are countable elements here, x1, x2, x3, x4, so on to xn, and so on. Well, these are the elements that are arbitrarily exposed in this V. But generally we will take it outside from U because U is a subspace of V that was under consideration from the very beginning of the proof. Or we can take it as we want. So V is a space that have countable elements x1, x2, so on to xn and that goes in V. And in the previous video we have seen that we have formed a space V1 that have a functional f1 that doesn't violate the condition of linearity as well as extension or the majoritism so in this case when we're talking about that we have countable elements that v1 is have v1 have a single element other than u because just for the sake of simplicity we have x1 here other than u so v1 is a subspace of v that have a functional f1 to r have an element x1 other than u and similarly we can form another space another space v2 here that have an other element x2 extra element x2 other than v1 so we can form such type of spaces with the help of the induction process that v1 is generated by x1 and u v2 is generated by x2 and v1 and this will so on in that way that vn is generated by xn and vn minus 1 and so on so we can form such type of linear spaces linear subspaces with the help of um, induction so we construct a linear functional on v by induction v1 have f1 v2 have f2 v3 have f3 and so on and because we have proved for v1 that is a subspace that doesn't violate the condition that are discussed in the in the statement of the han banach theorem so that is why we we can we can induct that all of the things on v2 v3 so on to vn now this will be the case if we have 
countable elements in V. If it is, then this is the main bridge of lining that V1 to so on to that V. That from continue, continuing this press from V1 and so on to that V by covering up one element uh, at one time. So then this functional, so this functional F note can be extended now. So this process extends the functional F note, F note onto the whole space V since every X, every element in V is in some subspaces Vn. So if it is, if it is a case of just a countable elements in V, then we are done here because we have inducted the property of V1 to all of them and we have extended the function of node to over the whole of the space and that was our target in that Hamburg theorem. So in the next video we will see what should we do when we have uncountable elements in V and what how we can prove this if we have uncountable elements in V. So this is for now like for most of the videos and you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.